I recently bought myself a MIG welder and I've been making use of it to work on a number of different projects and I've really really witnessed and realized the power of being able to you know weld stuff for car projects this is something that I'm new at this is something that I've never done before and it's really opened my eyes on what you can do for car repair so I just wanted to go through you know for people who are considering buying a MIG welder getting into MIG welding you know, want to do some work on their cars, what exactly you need to set up a, a you know, MIG system to get some, you know, projects done. Because this is something that I went through recently. So the first thing you need, obviously, is a MIG welder itself. Now this one is a Lincoln Electric uh, MIG Pack 140. Uh, I didn't go for the 180 because I only have a 110 of, you know, volt um, electrical connector. And this is, uh, you know, I'm, I'm renting this garage, so I'm not going to be putting in my own 220 volt uh, electrical connections. So I was limited to only hit the 140. Uh, it's, it's sort of the medium power unit from Lincoln Electric. I've been very satisfied with this unit. I've been able to weld it anything that I want so far. Um, but I mean, if you can go for the, the bigger unit, you have a 220 volt you know, output. Great. Go for it. So obviously you need this, and this comes with a few basics, um, but there's a few peripherals that you still need to get to MIG welding. So let's go through those. Um, first thing here, uh, nozzle gel. This doesn't come with the actual unit itself. Uh, I've been told you can use Vaseline, um, but you can also buy the Lincoln Electric um, nozzle gel. This helps to, you know, when, you, when you're welding, you can dip your nozzle into it, this helps the wire from sticking and the nozzle from sticking, you know, to whatever you're welding. I, every once in a while, dip it, dip it in, and it just improves the quality of your welds. Uh, tin snips. Um, you want a pair of tin snips. Um, this is for, you know, if you accidentally make your wire too long as you're welding, you can snip it off and, and get back to welding nice and quick. So just have a pair of these handy. Um, you need some extra wire. The unit itself comes with a small sample spool. Um, you can get different sizes. So the unit will tell you that you can weld with um, you know, 0 0.025 inch, 0 0.03, or 0 0.035 inch uh, diameter uh, wire spools. Uh, I've been working with the 0 0.025. I find it works great. Um, they're all pretty much the same price, and it's really up to you. Uh, comes with some extra nozzle tips, you don't have to worry about that for a while. So now, what's, what are the big things that we have to really buy extra? Well obviously you can see here that this unit is set up on something called a welding cart. Um, this is this big black welding cart that you see here, and I, I got it on sale, it's a good deal. It really helps move this MIG you know, welder around. So if you need to move the welder to the back of the car, do some work on the back, move it to the front, you really want to have a, a welding cart, and especially when you get your gas tank installed. So let's take a look at the back here. You can see the big green gas tank, and this is a mixture of, I believe, CO2 and uh, argon, uh, if I'm not mistaken, and this is for welding steel. Um, I needed to buy the cylinder itself and charge it. There's about 200 and $230. Um, the MIG pack comes with all the you know pressure gauges and connections that you need, but you need to buy the gas yourself. Finally, here some safety equipment. So chief among them, you need a welding helmet. Um, you can get the older style, which is either on/off or the auto darkening. This is an auto darkening unit, which you know darkens only when you start welding, and this really helps with when you're a beginner like myself where you're trying to place your, your welding nozzle, your tip, and if it's, if it's auto darkening you can actually see what you're doing before you weld and then get to welding. You want a pair of some nice leather welding gloves. Um, this is to protect your hands while you're welding. Um, so you can buy these pretty much anywhere. Um, I don't know the difference between the different types of leather, um, but I just got a pair. I think these are deer skin or something like that. And finally, you're going to want a nice welding jacket. Um, you can buy an actual welding jacket. I just use a nice thick uh, cotton work jacket. Something with long sleeves. Now, 
MIG welders give off UV radiation, so for people like me who are quite fair, this can actually give you a sunburn, apparently. It hasn't happened to me yet, but it apparently can give you a sunburn if you weld sleeveless. Um, so wear a nice thick cotton work shirt, something to protect your arms. Um, so again, welder, gas, cart, you know, all the safety peripherals, it adds up. You know, this is going to be you know, well you know, about a thousand dollars investment um, to your workspace, but the possibilities of the projects you can accomplish is just phenomenal. And you know, if you can get there, if you, can get, if you have the opportunity, go for it. I really encourage you to take a welding class. That's what I did. I took a local welding class just to learn how to get comfortable with the machine. And MIG welding is actually quite easy. Um, it just takes practice. So you need to get, get a machine, get welding, and practice to get good. So good luck.